This video is brought to you by PAMT Consulting. PAMT Consulting is a Canadian ServiceNow sales and services partner specializing in delivering the workflows that make the most of your ServiceNow investment. Now, the Duke goes back almost 20 years with PAMT's founder, so it's a brand I trust for implementations, integrations, staff og, and managed services in the realm of ITSM, ITAM, CSM, and HRSD. Check the description below for how to contact them, and be sure to tell them that the Duke sent you. Hey everyone, welcome to another QA session with the Duke. Today we are going to talk about what do you think about the ServiceNow license model? Now the first thing we should admit is that nobody asks this question expecting a positive review of ServiceNow's license model. Oftentimes people are just asking this as validation that pricing conversations are difficult, which they are. But to me, the discussions around ServiceNow's license model and the pricing of the licenses is the wrong conversation to have. A little bit of a history lesson to make this clear. I've been in the ServiceNow ecosystem for about 13 years, and the first conversations I started hearing where people were really complaining about ServiceNow's license model was about three years into my journey. Now ask yourself this, how badly did that bad license model affect ServiceNow's trajectory over the last decade? If your answer is, I should have bought at $28 a share. Why didn't I buy at $28 a share? Why didn't I buy at $50 a share? Why didn't I buy at $200 a share? Then you know exactly what I'm talking about. You see, the market proved the ServiceNow's license model wasn't that big a deal. And in fact, the ServiceNow sales team in their commitment to value-based selling were able to guide the conversations where the ServiceNow license model wasn't the prime driver. So you see, the conversation shouldn't be about does ServiceNow license the right way and is it priced right? The conversation should always revolve around value. And I'm gonna give you a really quick metaphor to drive home what I mean. It's basic, but it also works. So let's say in your house, there's a closed off room. There hasn't been a door built into it, but we know for certain that there is a treasure chest on the opposite side of the wall that's got $50,000 in gold bullion in it. So you wanna to get to this $50,000 of value. And so you hire a carpenter to come in to put a doorway into that wall. The carpenter says, I'll give you that doorway for $10,000. Now the wise man says, great, I've achieved $40,000 of value because I paid 10,000 to get 50. It's only the fool who says, $10,000 is way more than any other carpenter would charge me for that doorway. So especially if you're in conversations with clients, don't entertain the idea that the ServiceNow model is bad or overpriced or whatever. If you're talking about price, you're always having the wrong conversation. You should always be talking about value. And then it's simple math. Are you achieving that much more value than you're paying into the system? And that is why I am not bothered by ServiceNow licenses in the slightest. Do you want your message in front of the best ServiceNow admins, developers, architects, and product owners in the business? Want a conversation about your ServiceNow strategy and architecture? You can reach me via my website at www.theduke.digital. If you want to contribute to high frequency, high quality ServiceNow content, all you need to do is feed the algorithm with likes, shares, and comments. Thanks for watching.